you there. Um, let me get on video here too. Why don't both of you raise your right hands for me? Just swear from the testimony you're about to give will be the truth. Have a great day. Yes. yes. Okay. And you put your hands down, Miss uh, Baker. This is your claim. It says, uh, you're asking for nine hundred fifty dollars. It's alleged that a shared so. fence has been damaged by red paint, and after four attempts to personally resolve the issue with Sharon. There was no resolution, basically. So tell me right, about the correct. fence on your part. Is it you <clears throat> even in your complaint say it's a shared fence? Yeah. So when I purchased the house, she's correct, and that I purchased the house five years ago, and in okay. well, almost five years ago, in 2019, I spoke to her in the spring. I didn't see her until the spring, and I asked her about the fence because the back fencing needed repair, and I have a dog, so I wanted to make sure that if I need to make any repairs on the fencing on both sides that I was talking to the neighbors to find out whose responsibility it was so that I did the right thing. And she said okay. that in the beginning, three families went in and purchased the fencing and that, yes, this side was my side. I could plant I'm so, I'm my sorry, garden. Who, who told you that? Sharon. Was Sharon. It, Wilson? Oh, okay. it was, sir. Okay. And okay. I wanted to make sure I wasn't planting my plants too close to the fence if it was her fence and what the expectations were. So she told me that, yes, that size was my side, that it was to be taken care of by me and that I could plant up to the fence line. And we had had a you know, a pretty cordial relationship as neighbors up until um, two or maybe two years ago or a year and a half ago. And after that, um, she had had somebody come on my in my yard and stuff out with a weed whacker. And I said, I just would like to be left alone. So when she had this fence painted, um, they had started painting the back end of it, which is where my backyard is. And I noticed that the red paint was getting all on my side of it. And so I went out there and I said, hey, you guys, the paint's getting on my red, um, getting red on my side. You please stop painting my side. I don't care what you paint her side. That's fine. That's hers. She can do what she wants, but I just don't want it on my side. So they left. And then a couple of days later, they came back. Um, the first day was like June 30th. And then the second time they came back, there was three of them and they were continuing to paint. And I was like, listen, this is gonna be really expensive to, fence, to fix because this is such an old fence. So please let's not get any more red paint over here. And I had talked to the one guy, um, he had a dog and he was pretty nice about it. He was like, okay, well, when I come back, I might be able to fix this. I have a new tool that I have and it might be able to get this off. And we had discussed about letting me know when they were coming back to paint the rest of it so that I could cover my plants. And he had agreed that he had some stuff that he could cover it with too or whatever. And it seemed really cordial. And then um, he actually came back and painted the fence and didn't talk to me about it, but it was not a problem at that point. And then in September, they came back and repainted it. And that's when all the paint started getting on my side again. Um, and I said, you know, I need to stop. This is getting out of hand. And it just wasn't getting resolved. I had sent uh, Sharon a couple texts. I had called her twice and left a voicemail. She wasn't answering. So right after that, I spoke to her in her driveway and I said, listen, if we can't resolve something, you know, I'm just gonna have to take it to small claims court. And she didn't say anything. So I just decided to take the small claims court so that we could resolve it because she honestly, she's a good person. She honestly believes that the fence is hers because she paid money towards the fence before I moved in. But I think that because I bought and everything was included in the property, including whatever money they paid towards the fence on the property line, that it's mine. So I think that's where confusion is, and that's where we need intervention. Okay. Ms. Wilson, did, did you say that the fence was jointly jointly owned or jointly put up by no. the property no. line? And I have a letter here from my, the old neighbor, Nan, that lived over there for 35 years, and that states that it wasn't her fence. She did not pay for it. And well, I can't, I, no, I'm, not, I'm not gonna listen, look at a letter though, or anything else anybody else told you. You can only tell me what you got. Did, okay, I did, have- when was the fence, Hold on, when was the fence originally put up? Tell me that. Um, I don't know the exact dates, but like in 93, 94, somewhere in there. And were you still a property owner where you're at now at that point? Yep, I've been here for 33 okay. years. Okay, so when the fence got put in, was there an agreement that it was a mutual agreement between property owners that a fence would be put up? Is that no. right? No, this did is- you pay for the, Did you I, pay for the fence? I paid for the fence, my husband and I paid always- okay, How much did you pay for the, hold on, hold on. How much did you pay for the fence then? Uh, back, in, back then it was like $4,000.
and none of, you, none of the other property owners had anything to do with it? No. Okay. Why? How would Miss Baker get that confused if you told her it was your fence? I told her that um, man and John, my old neighbor, and I, they had asked me if I would not paint that side of the fence as long as they maintained it, just so it would match their fence because they went and had a uh, fence put up too. They put a deck there and put a gate in and everything. And they wanted it to look all natural where mine was, I was painting it. And they asked okay. me if I do that for them. And when, when Holly came to me and talked about that, I told her that I would treat her just like I did Nan and John with the fence, just enjoy it. Okay. Um, that, that a kind of, a, I guess, agreement with, with your other neighbor, when yeah. did that take place? That you would only paint your side? How long ago was that? Just curious. Like 30 years ago, almost. I mean, oh. it's, been, it's been a long time. There has been no yeah. issues on this fence until this summer. My fence is so old. It had already fallen down once. And I hired a fella, which I also have a document here of him saying he came to my home and he redug fence post holes and re put the fence back up because it was falling down all the cement post the post in the cements were all rotted off at the ground level and if it wasn't for me hiring him there wouldn't even be a fence okay so um so you it's your testimony that you've maintained that fence for the last 30 years or so is that right yes, since it was put up yes sir yes has any of the other neighbors, even before Ms. Baker, anybody made any claim to that fence or the property no. up to that fence? Okay. No, I get along with all my neighbors and I don't know where she got three neighbors were paying for it because that is not so. Okay. And, and again, I just want to make sure I understand you've been there consistently for 30 years. No worries in time, anything like that. 33 years. Okay. All right, Ms. Baker, what, what can you tell, tell me to help me out saying that Show me that she doesn't own the fence. She's been there 30 years. The fencing was put up there. This is what the other guy that painted told me the same you story. You can't tell me what anybody else. Yeah, you can't tell me what anybody else said. <laughs> He's okay, here. well, in in the in the evidence that I provided, I show the Genesee County GIS property line. I also have the same fencing put up in my backyard. The same oh, fence the goes same. the back the back end of my fencing. And the side fencing is all the same fencing. It was all put up at the same time. The fence was a shadow box fence on my side. And the fence that's in her yard is solid. No, it's not. And, and actually, there's images of that. You can see back where my shed is. Yeah, but that's not your, your fence. I'm talking about the fence that Nan and John put up in the backyard. It is not the same as mine. It, it's the I same fence. The it's exactly the same fence. And you can see in the images where the where the fence line is sir and the old fence um fell down there's no longer the i had the top the posts that had the pretty tops on them and everything and where the fence was re, re put up after it fell down them posts aren't like that so and that's the majority of the fence and i also had an addition put on to my home back in about 2005 and when I did, it created a vulnerable space between my fence and the back of my addition where I was worried somebody might be able to break in and nobody would see them. So I hired this guy to come in and put 12 foot of fence onto the front of that fence, plus move the front fence and gates up to the front of my addition, to the back of my addition and everything. So, I mean, I have all that documentation here signed by these people that shows that I have maintained this fence and taken care of it. Like I said, it was on the ground a couple of times because of the, we live on a hill and all the drainage comes down across my backyard and stuff and it rots everything fast. That's 100% correct. And the back line of my property has the same issue with the fencing where when I had to have it repaired with the dig up the holes and take the cement out, um, the the she's talking about that had the decorative top to it i had to take those out there's a couple of them still left but it's all the same it's all the same fencing and same design but when we had repaired them we just put up the regular post because actually it was pretty difficult for them to dig out the cement and then re-put cement posts in 
she's absolutely correct. The defense is a nightmare to, to fix. Okay. Is there a, anybody got a survey for me? I have a survey. Property? I have a survey from before my addition was put on, but I have it. I have um, you, where I could download it to you if you'd like. But um, can you do I, that for me? Can you? I needed an you, email address, so to I have. Yep, a, I can get you. Why don't you do that then? I'll get you an email address, and can you email it to uh, Miss Baker too? I can try. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm 67 years old. I'm I can try. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a shot. Well, I'll give you our um, email address. You can get it here. If mm -hmm. Yeah. Let, let me know when you're ready. I'll get you an address. Okay. I'm ready, sir. Okay, it'd be J, it's going to be all one word. J is in Janet. J, D is in David. R, I, E, S, E, N at Genesee County mi.gov so it's all spelled out j d r i e s e n at and this is all one word genesee county mi and then it's dot gov g o v okay i'm going to attempt this right now okay do that for me and if you could get send miss baker one too we'll, we'll do it that way I had my daughter set this up for me there with it. Sure, that's okay. Yep. In fact, I'm going to actually, I should have done this at the beginning. I'll just text it or chat with you as well with that address. And I just sent you that email address again, just so you have it. Did anything come? I don't know. Janet is did it, nope. nothing there yet. Okay. Can you hold it up to the screen? Maybe I can take a look at it. I don't know if that's going to work, um, but let's take a look. This is my survey. Okay. okay. For my addition. Okay. Why, why don't you? Um, yeah, I got you in two different views here. There you go. Where and where? Just point to where the, the fence is on that diagram on your uh -huh. survey there. Okay. Does it be. show the fence? Maybe it doesn't even show the fence. Well, the fence, the fence wasn't there when this uh, survey. Oh, then that's not going to. But this oh. is the survey that the fence company used to put the fence up. Was there a line showing where the fence was going to go? No. Oh, then that's not going to help it us one way or the other. I thought I thought you had one with the. And that is um, just my my survey of the land, and I. Um, Are there st any stakes out in your yard? I don't no. expect either one of you to go out there right now. No, Miss Baker, what about you? Are there stakes out in your yard? The they're, they're under the ground. You can use a metal detector and they'll beep. That's what I had okay, to but do. You can't. So, yeah, um, okay. Right before my neighbor, my old neighbor moved, she had a new driveway and a drainage thing and everything put there. She didn't know she was going to move at the time and, and stuff. And she, and it is, I mean, our property touch out in by my driveway and her driveway touch okay i guess and the only thing that the that telephone pole is right down the middle of the property okay. well there's there's well, Ms. there's land there in between the driveways okay miss baker get help me out a little bit more than what anything else you want i did see your photos and i understand what you're saying but what she's telling me is that that fence is something she would have i've got nothing to dispute that that she didn't install that fence. The Again, fencing is connected. Different. The fencing is connected in the back. The fencing was put up around okay. this property. But if you and look at your you can gate see in the your picture, gate, it's not attached. The gate was put up separately with the deck, but the fencing is all the same. And you can see in the corner and the images behind the shed that it is attached. Your fence and it's the same. Goes your fence kind of goes across the back of your yard and it isn't shadow boxed. It is solid. It's one board right next to another. It's where not. It's shadow boxed. The only place that shadow boxed is behind your shed and along that way. Okay. As I guess I'm just gonna have to make a decision based on what both of you are telling me. Uh, I, and, sir, I went outside 
at one point when it was really, really warm at the beginning of November. And I was going to power wash off the dish soap that Holly had poured all over my fence when my painters were here, which my painter is right here to say that. Okay. And she poured dish soap over my wet paint so the painters couldn't continue to paint. Anyway, I took the power washer out. And I was going to get that off. And while I was out there, I decided I would go along with the power washer and hit all those spots on the fence where their brushes went on her side and get it off of the fence. Because I think all of this is so trivial and stupid. Anyway, I did that. And she sat out there and videotaped me for an I hour. I took pictures. And the pictures, the she has that evidence as well, man. I, I, I took pictures right. and the uh, pictures of the fence being just completely taken off the fence into smithers that's right. also in the right. fence like that because okay guys all right i'm gonna take a hold on I, hold on we're not not being helpful one or the other i'm gonna get off for just now review my notes and, and come back and give you my decision okay okay thank did you my, did my text come over Okay, we can go back on the record. I did get a chance to review my notes regarding testimony taken, all the pictures that um, Ms. Baker has submitted as well. Uh, I do find that um, Ms. Wilson has been on this property for the past 30 years consistently on that property. She claims it is her fence. She, she put the fence up. There's nothing that disputed that. I've um, not seen a survey that shows where that fence line runs, uh, but given all the testimony, all the evidence I have seen, that fence belongs to Ms. Wilson for today's purposes. You find that um, she painted her side. I do see that there's some um, paint that has lapped over onto the other side of the fence. However, it is her fence based upon all the uh, evidence today. Therefore, um, case is dismissed. No cause of action. Okay. Thank you, Your Good Honor. Good luck to both of you. All right. Thank you're you. welcome. All right. You're welcome.